hello my friends thank you so so much for tuning in and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Jen and I love all things color we talk about makeup skincare especially my favorite topic sunscreens especially physical sunscreens I'm always on the market for sunscreens I'm always looking for at new launches I know it looks like I have a lot but I use them all the time I just like use them liberally all the time so yes I, in fact I have a playlist dedicated for physical sunscreens you might see like chemical sunscreen hybrid sunscreen thrown in here and there don't be mad but uh, yeah if you're in the market for sunscreens physical sunscreens especially definitely consider taking a look at that playlist i will leave the link down below you can it's a long list so uh, you might want to grab a snack so if you love these kinds of videos definitely consider subscribing to my channel i would absolutely appreciate that and also consider giving this video a thumbs up because we have a lot coming in right uh so super goop has launched a brand new sunscreen well they they always have the play line right this they have this is a super good play things are washing out very very much so anyways uh, it's white with like a pale yellow just color so you don't think you can see so they have a lot of products in the super goop uh, play line and then um now they've launched a hundred percent mineral sunscreen stick i never really realized the ease of using a sunscreen stick until i recently bought the cerave uh, sunscreen stick i also got the color science sunscreen stick i compared the cerave and color science in another video i will leave that link down below if you're interested if you want to take a look at the color science one as well so so if you want to like uh if you're in the market for sunscreen sticks but point is these are so easy to put on and so 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 amazing and just all you don't even need to like work it into the skin if the formula is amazing just wipe it and just like pat 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 you are ready to go guys i'm serious i did not realize the versatility until i got both the color science and the cerave one and i've been using them so so frequently they're so much easier to use on the go if you're doing something active like swimming or hiking if you're outdoors uh, or even for a regular day out I use these uh, under uh, before I set my face and even if I want to like touch it up it's so easy again everything I've been really really enjoying and appreciating how amazing these mineral sticks are so I had to get the super goop one 100% mineral sunscreen the the active ingredient is zinc oxide which is 21% it says here down here you probably can see it it says with olive fruit extract so that got me thinking to take a look at the ingredients list and I was impressed I really want to give a shout out to the ingredients because the first ingredients is beeswax and then the very second ingredient is olive oil there is a lot of oil uh, oily and very moisturizing products because the next is shea butter and then we have candelia wax i believe that is canola not canola i'm sorry what is that um oh it's another oil it just doesn't come i basically use it like every day anyways and then we have a uh, linseed oil there's olive fruit extract and then olive fruit oil and then uh, there is chia seed oil, there's jojoba seed oil, there's cacao shea butter, and then there's also vanilla fruit extract. I think it's, it's from the plant, the fruit from the plant. So the ingredients list is so impressive. I'm so impressed by how richly it's filled with antioxidants and all such moisturizing ingredients. So I was floored by the ingredients list, I'm telling you. So yes. So in this video, we're going to be uh, comparing both the CeraVe because both of them basically look the same height wise, how sleek they are, Ex the packaging is exactly the same. You have to like open, this is the super good one, open it and then there's a little like turn knob here that you can like turn and then the product comes right out. CeraVe has the exact, exact same uh, packaging the same packaging the price is really uh honestly super goop one is not expensive to be honest 
uh, CeraVe is even less expensive and I believe more widely available. You can buy it at Walmart and also at uh, Target and also drugstores, Amazon. Um, and then Supergoop, I believe Supergoop, and then maybe other these independent skincare retailers like Derm Store. I'm not sure if it's or skin. Just giving you examples. I'm not entirely sure if those skincare retail brands uh, retailers actually carry Supergoop. Just FYI, just to clarify. And also Supergoop also has their own website, but I got mine at Sephora. So and this is twenty four dollars. Supergoop one is twenty four dollars. While Cervi is $9.99, basically $10, uh, I guess. So let me quickly compare how much you get. You get more with the Cervi. Wait, super good. Sorry. You get more. You get 18.9 grams in uh, super good, while you get 13.32 grams for Cervi. So Cervi, you do get a little bit less. Uh, actually, a little much less right 18 and 13 that's, that's that's a significant um um difference so both are 100 percent mineral sunscreens and cerave is actually marketed as an invisible kind of a uh, uh, mineral sunscreen stick so it's made it says invisible zinc that's uh, like the biggest selling point for cerave invisible zinc uh this guy super Coop, doesn't exactly claim to be invisible it's not in the marketing in fact i believe uh so i was a little like um doubtful when i picked this up the super good one because it died i didn't see it being marketed as like compatible with all skin tones doesn't leave a cast no such marketing at all and even the models i think i didn't see any darker skin models or tan skin models there so but cervi actually markets is so anyways what's going to be here in this video is we're going to be doing swatches right now uh, on the arm for both and i'm going to do a demo of applying two layers right now i do already have them so i have a uh, super goop two layers on this side and cervi two layers on this side so you'll see how they apply how easily they blend and how it kind of like after a few minutes it sets and how they basically look on my skin tone so it's a great great um like i said there's a lot going on so definitely consider giving this video a thumbs up so i believe that's it i kind of like touched on all the key differences uh i think after demo you can kind of like see what they uh, how it performs basically so let's um open this up this is super goop. I want to give you a swatch there. So that is super goop. One layer. Let's do another. Another. So you kind of like apply it and kind of like, I'm not kind of like rubbing too, too much, but I'm just kind of like patting it kind of, and that is not bad at all, right? Oops, things are washing out. I'm sorry, guys. The white is really washing this video out. And this doesn't have any fragrance either. It's completely... Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm getting like a smell, but not like a fragrance. So I don't know if it's the smell of all the oils and the fruit extract they have going on. CeraVe is right here. That what? I think you guys see the difference. This definitely is more invisible and more skin-like than the Super Goop one. That is two layers. This is definitely significantly, you can see a difference that CeraVe is invisible. So, yeah, that's a like, little peek uh, as what that looks like on the arm swatch. But dev never get uh, deceived by arm swatches, especially with sunscreens because applying it on the skin and leaving it for a few minutes and seeing how it works on your skin is absolutely it's imperative so don't just like get um get deceived by arm swatches i mean this this is impressive but but i would say both are really good so anyways let's head over to the demo section and then we'll talk about makeup details and then my final thoughts so yes i'll see you guys all there. right guys let's see what this looks like on my skin so since we have both we're just quite quickly gonna do one side each which i already did because i did the comparison with color science so i did one side color science and one side cerave but i really wanted to like 
they just look the same basically so uh, oh wait this way so yeah it's, uh, the yellow is just washing it out anyway so half uh, super goop half cerewe so this is super goop so i'm just gonna right now i don't have anything else i'm gonna no no um makeup on the face or nothing tinted on the face so i just have a moisturizer which is super glowy so that's just one let's do two layers for both the products right and as i'm going near the eye i don't want to rub so i'm just gonna take some and just pat 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 right so that is super goop one layer that's pretty good not bad at all guys very very light um cast coming through which i wouldn't even consider this a cast to be honest more like a sunscreen layer you can tell the sunscreen layer this is like uh, i just applied it this so maybe wait for a few minutes and this would even like go away so another layer let's do another layer oh wait let's just give it some time for this to set so that way you'd see what it looks like after it's like setting a few minutes so this side is CeraVe. It's just breaking and falling a little bit. CeraVe is, I would say, slightly sheerer than Super Goop. Sorry, it's just falling off. This is definitely sheer than Super Goop. This is marketed as a sheer, sheer zinc, right? So this is definitely sheerer than Super Goop. I'm just rubbing these little um, chunks that's falling off and you can see that it is basically sheer. It's just like disappear into the skin. And it's a little bit of hair. <laughs> and I'm taking some and just dot, dot, dot. So there you have it. Let's do a second layer for super group. So sorry. And also we'll do a second layer for CeraVe as well. So the second layer for Super Coop is theirs. Again, I don't consider this like a super, super crazy cast white cast to be honest because when i tried this out and was playing around with this after a few i would say like 30 minutes after application all this little like traces of sunscreen kind of disappears and it's pretty good it is kind of streaky all sunscreens are so you can see like streaks of this um sunscreen here and there but nothing like a cast nothing like crazy at all guys especially um these stick sunscreens are more towards marketed towards like active um when you're active right in the pool or when you're hiking or whatever so at that point of time these are not uh designed or like formulated for like the perfect uh and like like a complexion product kind of a way so i really want you guys to also think about that while making a decision you know like not just completely um be against sunscreen sticks if you are that is so this is a cerave second layer cerave second layer again is a much milder than super goop and as you can see look at that that um that the trace of sunscreen is kind of slowly disappearing that is CeraVe. I would say two layers of CeraVe is still kind of equivalent to two layers of super goop after slowly kind of like setting. You know what I mean? So I do feel I do like super goop. Definitely go for it if that's something that you want to try and if it's more accessible to you. I still like super goop a lot but um, if you're more towards definitely sheer or sunscreens so for the forehead I want to just put CeraVe 
because it takes some time for the forehead and I do have like a small forehead so working the product into the skin is a little hard so I'm, that's why I'm going with the CeraVe one so yeah so I was just about to give final thoughts but then, then I just realized that I haven't exactly put makeup on or set my face with powder look at that now basically they are kind of the same don't you guys think the CeraVe and Super Goop like I said uh, Super Goop kind of has more of a uh, you know white tint to it and um not like a white tint i don't want to call it that just it leaves like a little bit of trace of the sunscreen but after a few minutes now that a uh, few minutes has passed since this application this is definitely set and it basically looks the same this is cerave and this is super good they basically look the same for sure and I'm for some reason mixing both up. So sorry about that. So I'm just going to quickly set my face with powder and we'll come back and we'll talk about final thoughts. All right, guys, I am back. Um, I've been using this highlighter. Let's quickly talk makeup details. Just FYI, I've been using this highlighter from Laura Geller baked highlighter. I love it so much. I love it so much. It looks Look at how like boring it looks. It doesn't have any shine when you apply it, but once it kind of sets into the skin, it melts and it just gives you the beautifulest glow. <laughs> Most beautiful glow, okay. <laughs> so this is in the shade French Toast, I love it. And for blush, I haven't done like a favorites video in so, so long. And I've accumulated so many favorites and Laura, Gale Laura Mercier's Tinted Moisturizer Blush is just, to die for i mean seriously amazing 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 product it is it is truly a moisturizer which is tinted like with a blush tone because it's so so amazing it melts into the skin just look at that it literally feels like my skin is sun-kissed and does not even look like i have any product on so i love this this is in the shade promenade this is like a pale not like a pale it's a beautiful peach color look at that it just melts into the skin just a beautiful blushed look look at that it's my skin but just better i guess i love it so so much i definitely plan on getting it this is actually the second shade i definitely want to buy more then on the lips last but not the least um is wait i haven't spoken about the eyes okay anyways uh this is ysl's look at that uh, hyper 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 glow or that uh gloss incredible this is the candy glaze i literally use one of these uh shades every a uh, video that i've made recently i think I've, and even not just here if i get a chance outside if i'm going out if a chance to get well if what was I trying to say? If I get a chance not to wear mask, this is the lipstick I put on this, like every single time, every single time. Not this exact shade, but this formula I have every other color except for one, which is like basically always sold out. So yeah. So this is in the shade Pink Pleasure or Pink Satisfaction, I think. It's a beautiful, beautiful shade. And the formula is amazing, amazing. It is almost like a lipstick. It's not one of those absolutely fragile formulas, which kind of like basically melts as you're applying and falls off of the actual packaging, nothing of that sort. So far, it's getting hot here and hasn't melted. It's been living in my purse. And it doesn't exactly bleed. It, if you clean the inside of your mouth like this it never really bleeds or get on your gets get on your teeth it's an amazing amazing formula YSL is just amazing guys when it comes to uh, lipstick formulation they do so so well okay uh, and for the eyes I'm so sorry I do not have the palette right now but I use Vizier uh, Grande Pro volume 1 and the last row the last row is like gray to black i use that entire row to create this gray smoky look so that's the that's what i have on just one palette all together just from the i think the lighter shade lightest shade in the bottom row is white 
the darkest is go goes to black i used every single just like built from this is the darker shade the eyeliner and then all the way to white all right enough makeup talk let's talk about these two guys i love them both to be honest i do like uh cerave a little bit better because i know super goop after a few minutes it kind of settles down and it sets and that cast is not really almost gone but cerave is sheer to begin with it's a super 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 sheer product and it is like not as expensive i kind of forget how much is this i will look it up and uh, i haven't filmed the intro so i will take a look at the price of the product and i will tell you guys but this is definitely lesser expensive i believe 10 or less than 10 or a little over 10 probably between 9 and 12 dollars say it's between 9 and 12 dollars so cerave is super expensive and super accessible it's basically available in every store drugstore department well uh target walmart it's available everywhere so i do feel i kind of leaning a little bit towards cerave but if you want to try super groups play mineral steak it is quite good guys it's really good you guys saw what it looked like as i put like a uh, one layer and then i put the second layer on it was really good it performed good so all in all i really like this one too i will keep it and i will absolutely continue to use it until i finish it for sure will i repurchase this the super group one i don't know like these are so similar they look similar and everything is like similar so why go for super goop you know but super goop if you are very particular about ingredients super goop has zinc oxide 21 percent and uh cerave is like titanium and zinc oxide so zinc oxide is 4.7 percent titanium is six percent zinc oxide is definitely more soothing and calming to the skin it's very gentle on the skin even like uh newborns diaper creams have zinc in it i believe it's like completely zinc so they are very 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 soothing to the skin even newborns can use it so not just newborn diaper cream like the diaper creams all of them have zinc in it it's like so uh, it's like absolutely all right even for new bonds to use it that's what i try to say anyways guys that's kind of like my final thoughts i really hope i helped you make a decision whether you want to buy this or not the play or the cerave let me know down below in the comment section and i will see you guys very soon